managerials. And invading imperials. Are on every day. And you must obey. Watch killer thriller serials. <laughs> The Emperor is speaking. Come quickly, my friend. Oh, Mango. I am prepared to pay 100,000 Mingos. On certain conditions. But not for long, my friend. Now, you are to proceed at once to Mango. But you must decide now. I'll not renew the offer. Proceed at once to the plan. Your speed ship will get you to the land of the dead, the Prince Baron, Kingdom of Avoria. Since the poor, barren, northern wastes of Phrygia. Your time is nearly up. All ever demands that you accept my terms. It's the same fate as all those who are forced. No destination set better be Mango. Guess what would taste good right now to everyone in the car? Candy. We've got your favorite kind at the concession stand. Come on down and pick out the kinds you want to enjoy during the rest of the show. Be sure to get plenty because everyone likes candy and our big variety is chosen to please everybody's taste. Well, 
guards escaped from Ming when the Earthmen visited Mongo before. Ming will stay as much for Dale alive as he will for Tarkov. Careful, don't let the annihilation drop her. They've got Dale. Come back! You'll be blown to atoms! Explode the annihilus. Kill the girl? Oh. I've got a trick one through with that. Thousand mingos for you and me. Flash, flash. 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 Where's Dale? <gasps> Dale. I don't know. All I could see was Iron Man. There was an explosive that knocked me out. Well, by the tracks, they've gone in that direction. Flash is dead. Killed in the explosion. You and the good doctor are on your way to the palace of Ming the Merciless. He's always wanted both of us. Pilot, get underway. Better destroy his arc of ship first. No. It's too valuable to destroy. We have no pilot capable of flying it but myself. We'll return for it after we deliver our prisoners and collect our reward. Ronald, what happened? Where's Dale? The mechanical men got her. Zarkov and I tried to stop them and... They must have gotten Zarkov, too. Ming ship. They're tearing off Dale and Zarkov. Let's go after them in our ship. No, I can't do it. You're not going to let them run off with Dale. Dr. Zarkov? Ming will kill him. Yes, I know all that. And I love Dale and Sarkoff more than anyone can know. But there are only two lives. While on Earth, millions of people are facing death in the path of the Purple Plague, unless Ming is stopped. Now, I've got to take Polarite to the Earth first. Then I'll come back and settle with Ming. While the Purple Death still rages, there has been a marked abatement in the number of deaths. We believe this may be due to the activities of Professor Zarkov and my son Flash Gordon on the planet Mongo. Further news will be broadcast to you the moment it is received. We again beg you to remain calm in this crisis. There was no need to raise the hopes of the people without some scrap of proof. You have no foundation for your surmise that the drop in the death rate is due to anything but natural causes. What of it if it keeps up the morale of the crowd? Besides, the last word we heard from Flash was that they mean to put a stop to the Purple Death. And when Zarkov and Flash undertake a thing, I don't have to... Yes? The son Flash is calling on the radio. Come quickly. Flash! Hello, Dad? Yes, we found large deposits of polarite in the kingdom of Phrygia. Far north of Mongo. As you know, polarite particles attract and neutralize the death dust in the same manner that we now have enough polarite to destroy all the death dust that Ming can turn loose. So, you wanted proof, did you, you old crab? Well, there you have it. Polarite. Loads of it. The salvation of the world. I'm going to drop the polarite at the top of Mount McKinley. It will attract all the death dust to that particular spot and destroy it.
a splendid achievement, son. The world will be waiting to give you and Professor Zarkov the finest welcome in the history of mankind. No, Dad, I'm not coming back. Zarkov's not with me. No, he and Dale were taken prisoners by me. I don't know what's happened to them. Dale, my daughter, at the mercy of Ming. Come on, Doc. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, it's sleepy. Excited. Exploding robots. How did they fit them all in? Fit up there, 911666. How did they fit all those annihilants into their ship? Who knows? Do they stack them like cordwood? Could be. Dangerous to have that much explosive aboard their ship. They're desperate. Yeah, their lives will be forfeit. Forfeit? They're forfeit? Forfeit. It's just a show. I'm not going to relax. Why should you? Are their lives forfeit about six or eight times by now, Doc? Now, was he punishment? Well, no. Hey! That's enough for now, I think. getting into that rocket ship before you freeze to death. Look. The very ship we're looking for. Some of them must have survived. We've got to shoot them down. Spaceship diving at us. Fly over and I'll slow him down. No, we'll need that ship to get at me. I'm going to spin it down. Turn on a smoke screen so he'll think we're hit. to be damaged much.
Take your ship into Mink's palace. Then you're going to give the password that opens the gates to the space court. Patrol ship coming in for a landing, sir. Accept the terms I offered him and must suffer the consequences. Look. You still have a few moments to reconsider your decision, Dr. Zarkov. The hands of the clock point to the eleventh hour. It will automatically release my destroying ray. My decision, me, and you cannot order it. You're determined to go through with this murder. At least let me join him down there. And lose the bride that I have waited for so long. sacrificing the Earth man to the destroying ray. We can see from the window that overlooks the arena. Conquers the universe. I am prepared to offer you your life on certain conditions. Together we might undo this man. No. And arm all guards, the reward for the capture of Dale Arden alive is double. Vice Arden must be taken too, but not necessarily alive. There are two ships approaching. You 
can't afford to miss. Flash Gordon conquers the universe. Some death ray. A spotlight. An electric razor sounds. Like spaceship engines. I guess they're gonna shave off Zarkov's beard while they're at it. Frank Shannon. That guy sure needs some Rogaine. As do you. Why does Ming have the hots for that Hale Arden anyway? She's pretty. So are the Mongo women. She's the star. Who is? Carol Hughes. Oh. Uh, was it punishment for Bastion's comments, syndication contract bids, on the offers of sexual liaison, maybe email to recycle at gmail.com. Thank you very much.